In the first part of the series, Stephanie Su and Nikocado Avocado made accusations about each other. Zack Choi was also involved and spoke his truth. In the second part of the series, Stephanie responded to Nick's claims, and Veronica shared her feelings on the drama. Since then, other influencers have spoken up, and Nick has made accusations about Zack Choi. Welcome to part three of this series. Please do not send any hate to Stephanie Su, Nikocado Avocado, Zach Choi, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. Again, please wait until the end of the series before forming your opinion on what happened. On January 2nd, Carly Steele spoke up about her involvement in the drama. You may remember from the first part of the series, Nick shared audio messages of Carly complaining about Stephanie's behavior. That's so rude. It seems like, yeah, like she's just really selfish. Carly said she was just trying to be a good friend by comforting Nick in a difficult time. As a best friend, I guess I was just trying to be as mad as Nick was, or he literally just was venting to me. Carly explained that her opinion of Stephanie has changed. I'm gonna be honest with you, now that I know all the details and I know how she felt and I know everything, I take it back and I do apologize for judging based on something I didn't know. Carly also brought up one comment she made that stood up to viewers. What you're doing with Stephanie is straight up business. It's just rude. Like, I don't know how these people were raised. She apologized for her comment. I was immature and irresponsible and I shouldn't have said that. Carly said she gave Nick permission to use her audio messages. This whole situation is just a lot and I do not want to be involved in it and I guess I did put myself in it by giving him permission to use my voice messages. Carly ended the video by apologizing. I apologize and I'm so sorry and I do not condone and I don't go around girls. Four days after Stephanie's response video, Nick broke his silence. On January 4th, Nick posted a video titled, Nikocado Avocado, What Happened to You? The video showed Nick back in the day when he was vegan. Some people suspected he was hacked. However, others thought Nick was trying to gain sympathy. He wasn't hacked, he's having a breakdown, or also trying to make people feel bad. People who didn't buy this lie. When we said release the footage, we didn't mean this. On January 5th, Nick posted a video titled, I have something to say. Nick said there's a lot the public doesn't know. There's a lot going on, as I'm sure you know. And there's a lot going on that you don't know. And there's a lot more on top of it that you don't know. Nick did not address the drama and instead said, All I can say is that I'm going to go eat McDonald's now. On January 7th, Nick posted a video titled, Answering Your Questions About Stephanie Sue." In the video, he addressed some questions about the recent drama. Someone asked about Veronica Wang. Is there still beef with Veronica Wang? Um, between me? No. Nick said he wasn't hacked when he suddenly uploaded an old video. I don't know why people are thinking I got hacked. I never said I got hacked. That's not the first time I've posted an old video. Come on, guy. Nick spoke about Carly Steele's video. She made a video, you know, clearing her name and everything. She was like, Nick, people think I was picking on someone else. I said, Carly, just tell the truth. You're not the first person to ever give comfort to a friend who's venting to you. I'm sure they'll understand it. Nick explained he and Carly are still friends and hopes everyone can forgive her. So anyways, I love her. She loves me. We're a happy family. She's a really good person, a really good friend. I hope people can accept what had happened there. On January 8th, Nick uploaded a video on his main channel titled, I'm Not Sorry. In the description box, Nick said, I'm not sorry. You have no idea what's going on, and there's a lot more I'm doing behind the scenes that you also don't know. In the video, Nick said he was feeling better. I know we're like in the middle of being canceled and stuff, and obviously I can't say anything about it now, but I just feel really good and confident and strong. He also asked everyone not to believe everything they see online. By the way, what you see on there, please take it with a grain of salt. I mean, it's literally reality TV, it's, it's entertainment. Later that day, Nick uploaded a video on his third channel, also titled, I'm Not Sorry. This time, Nick expressed anger. In the description box, he said, I'm not sorry, get over it and leave me the F alone. Nick also gave the same message in the video. Sorry for what? Like, I'm not sorry. I am not sorry. I'm not sorry. Get over it. Not sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry to who? I don't even know what people are talking about. I'm not sorry to anybody for anything. A absolutely not. I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna apologize for something I didn't do. Nick continued to say the public doesn't know the full story. But you don't even know half of what's going on. Not even, yeah, not even half. 
Nick asked people to stop hate following. To the people constantly berating my social media. It's to those people who need to check out, pack your bags, and keep it moving. Just keep it moving. When I don't like someone, I keep it moving. I switch the channel. I'm not plaguing their channel every day. Nick told off the people who asked him to address the drama. Like, who are you? To tell me how to live my life because you saw a video or a few, a few videos. Like, honestly, get lost. Nick called out people who told him to be professional. You need to be professional. Because why? You say so? Are you my mommy? I've never been professional. Get over it. This is my channel. Make your own channel and show us how to be professional. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Nick called out someone for saying he has a mental illness. Mental illness. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You could diagnose someone from watching a YouTube video. Nick asked the public to leave him alone. I've made it loud and clear to leave me alone. Loud and clear, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Nick said he's been getting comments about his weight. I have been fat shamed for the past two weeks more than any time in my life. I had to put it on my blocked words. I had to put it on my blocked words. Nick spoke about supernatural spirits defending him. And this is my cinnamon stick. And this is what's gonna keep the evil spirits out. Cause I feel like there's evil spirits coming in, people casting spells on me. Excuse me, excuse you, excuse me. I am married to somebody who has a family who does witchcraft. I am blessing myself, clearing the energy out. Out you go, toodaloo, out the door. And guess what, that bad, bad energy can go right back to you over there, breaking your nails, trying to comment. Nick ended the video by saying, goodbye, bye bye, and f you. On January 9th, Nick posted a video titled, I'm Sorry. Nick didn't apologize about the drama in this video. Instead, he apologized for other small things. I don't even know how much I'm gonna eat, but I am so sorry. I am sorry. I dropped my chips. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I dropped my chips. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I dropped my chips. No longer crunchy. I'm so sorry. My chips are no longer crunchy. Nick did apologize in the description box, but it's unclear what he was apologizing for. I'm so sorry. I am very sorry. I hope you can forgive me. My apology. On January 10th, Nick posted a video titled, Moving On From Stephanie Sue. In the description, Nick wrote, We are getting over and moving on from the Stephanie Sue drama, and we are having a talk. Nick does not talk about the drama in the video. Instead, he pinned a comment which said, Please leave a kind comment. I need to see some kind of encouragement today, or I'm just gonna walk away from this YouTube thing. It's come to a point where the hatred and her and are taking a toll on my heart. Later that day, Nick uploaded a video about Zach Choi. Nick posted a video titled, Why I'm No Longer Friends with Zach Choi ASMR. In the description, Nick wrote, Why I'm not sorry from showing his text in my response to the Stephanie Sue drama. For context, Nick refers to Stephanie Sue as Chicken Nugget in this video. Nick brought up a tweet Zach made during the drama, where Zach said Nick is one of his closest YouTube friends. Nick said that was a lie for various reasons. Nick said Zach didn't check up on him after his flight home. Oh, and safe travels today. That's what he said. That's the last I heard of him. Not like, hey, did you make it okay? Hey, did you land okay? Hey, did you make it home safely? Nick also said Zach didn't check up on him after Stephanie dropped her first accusation video. He saw all the stuff that was brought into Chicken Nuggets video. He didn't say a word to me. He didn't ask how I was. Nick implied that Zach and Stephanie took his business idea. Zach has told me how extremely c competitive he is. During this trip, I told him that I was gonna come out with a ramen noodle. The Nikocado Avocado Ramen Noodle, I was gonna brand it. And that's when he told me that he and Chicken Nugget are business partners and they're launching their own ramen noodle. I felt sick. It wasn't like, oh man, that's awesome. Oh, I'm happy for you. Or how's that going? It was like, me and Chicken Nugget, we're doing one too. I was in their way. Nick said he and Zach were invited to a party at Trisha Paytas' house. He said Zach offered to drive him there. 
However, Nick felt Zach was interrogating him during the car ride. It was a couple of days after Chicken Nugget blew, blew me off. I got mad, I reacted. He asked me about Chicken Nugget the entire car ride, you guys. So what'd you say in your video? Is her name gonna be in the title or is it just gonna be generic? But what's the thumbnail look like? How long is the video? Nick told Zach he didn't wanna talk about the drama anymore. I remember telling him in the car when we almost pulled up to her place, I was just like, and by the way, I don't wanna think about it anymore. It's off my chest, it's done and over with. Zach also drove Nick home. Nick said Zach continued to talk about Stephanie during the ride home. Then Zach drove me home. But again, he was like, when's your video coming out? Nick implied Zach and Stephanie were plotting against him. He was investigating. I felt like what I was telling him, he was spoon feeding to Chicken Nugget. And they are business partners, you guys. They are joining up to make a lot of money. It's like she was trying to put something out before me, so anything I say is not credible. Nick addressed Zach's second tweet about the drama, where he claims Nick was aggressive. Nick implied Zach was being contradictory because he was being nice to him during Trisha's party. Nick was aggressive. Nick was so angry. We couldn't tell him no. I'm like, and you hung out with me again and again and again. You hung out with me at Trisha's party. You offered to take me there. Like, still hanging out with me. And I was so scary and aggressive. Really? Nick shared information Zach said about Stephanie. Zach told me to my face that the only reason she was willing to collab with dramatic crazy me was because the views were going down and it's Christmas and it's gonna be in everyone's favor. I'm like, okay, I like money, okay, I like views. I admit it to my, it's, it's not like a secret. Whereas her, it's just like, oh no, I trusted him. It's like, <laughs> what? Nick said he wasn't trying to drag down Zach. I'm not looking to convince you not to watch him. Please keep supporting his amazing ASMRs, seriously. Nick said he felt Zach and Stephanie set him up. I'm just letting you know that my soul tells me that he helped Chicken Nugget bring this onto me. They're both very smart and they know how the internet works. That's where I'm coming from. I feel so set up. In less than an hour, Zach Choi responded to Nick's accusations. Zach posted a pinned comment on his mukbang video. Zach wrote, Nick, I stopped texting both of you when her video went up. Trisha's party was before the exposing drama started. Trisha's Christmas party, December 18th. Stephanie's video, December 21st. I told you Stephanie and I had the ramen idea long before you manifested your own. When I reminded you in my kitchen that night that Stephanie and I had the idea first, you said, well, I guess we'll all of our own noodles. Why wouldn't I be offended when you blatantly take our idea and boast it as your own? If you check out my social blade, you'll notice I didn't get much of a boost from the drama. I did not make a video on my channel about this because I'm not profiting from this. I still won't. I never told Stephanie you were going to expose her. You did on Instagram. Remember, I was neutral in this situation and your friend until you threw me under the bus without giving me so much as a heads up. If you felt defamed and slandered, you should have came to me and said, hey, I might need to put you in the video to substantiate my argument, but you took over a week, said not one word, and used my text in a major portion of your video. When your video went live, I felt betrayed and felt you planned to throw me because you knew I was Stephanie's friend too. I didn't hear anything from you even after your video went live. It took me posting my response to get a call with your name on the notification. Do you really think Stephanie and I corroborated and planned to expose you? Why would I do that to you? I'm not going to make a video or drag this out. I'm actually very sorry to see how this all played out. I lost you as a friend and got attention for something I never wanted in the first place. The phone works both ways. Maybe you could have reached out to me instead of thinking I'm plotting against you. On January 13th, Nick uploaded a response video to Zach. For context, Nick refers to Stephanie as Chicken Nugget in this video as well. Zach said he stopped talking to both Nick and Stephanie when the drama broke out. Nick said Zach is lying about not talking to Stephanie. You were talking to her, you apologized, you gave permission to re release more texts for her second video. Zach said Trisha's party happened before Stephanie dropped her first accusation video. Nick didn't understand Zach's point. He's literally just confirming what I said, so I'm not sure what the point with that sentence was. However, it seems like Zach was implying he was nice to Nick, driving him and hanging out with him because they were still friends at the time. 
Zach said he and Stephanie had the noodle business idea before Nick. Nick said this isn't true. I have been talking about ramen noodles and wanting to make my own brand of it since before you were even on YouTube. My followers know that. I made a channel called The Noodle King. In the videos, I talk about how I'm gonna come up with my own one day. I've been branding that as myself for years. Nick pointed out that Zach confirmed he's business partners with Stephanie. So that confirms it's the truth that he and Chicken Nugget are business partners. So remember I said this guy is so competitive, he'll do anything in his power to get people out of his way. This proves it. Zach said he didn't gain that many followers from the drama, implying he wasn't using the controversy for his own personal gain. Nick said Zach was lying. That's a lie, you gained millions of extra views. You go to his social blade, in December, he went almost up to the most amount of views of his entire life. His entire lifetime on YouTube skyrocketed high. Nick continued to accuse Zach and Stephanie of using controversy to grow their channels. You both wanted to make sure we had this three-way collaboration. That's not what we agreed to. That's not what I flew there to do. I never understood why. I thought it was very strange. Everyone benefited here, except for me, because I... Zach denied sharing Nick's text message to Stephanie. Zach said Nick exposed himself on Instagram. Nick said that was a lie because Stephanie showed text messages she got from Zach in her response video. You had already texted Zach privately saying, notice how her text to us didn't mention rescheduling, LMAO. I'm exposing her tonight. On January 14th, Zach posted a serious Instagram story. For those of you waiting for a response to Nick's continuous I have retained an attorney, and he will be handling these matters going forward. On January 16th, Nick uploaded a video titled, Is Zach Choi Suing Me? Nick brought up the same points in his previous video. He continued to emphasize that Zach stole his noodle business idea. You lied, dude. You said I stole from you. And when we all know that, that's not the truth. Nick believes Zach got attorneys involved to get the public to side with him. You put out a post publicly. I responded to the post publicly. And you want to go get a lawyer? Excuse me, you lied. And you, you have nothing else to say. And this is for people to be like, oh, clearly he's winning. Oh, Nick's gonna go to jail. Nick's gonna get sued. Uh, Zach, if that wasn't the most cop-out, guilty little runaway, tail between your legs type of response I've ever seen. Nick said a majority of Zach's audience don't know American laws. And he has like 50%. Asian viewers. They don't know the laws here, and they're gonna see, ooh, Zach has an attorney, wow, take him down. It's like, uh, no he doesn't, and he's lying. Nick accused Zach of talking behind other people's backs. Talking behind Trisha's back, my back, other people's backs. It's gonna bite you in the butt, and it's two-faced. Two-faced. Nick implied Zach shouldn't have reacted the way he did because they used to collab together. You made more videos with me, you can't act like I was some kind of crazy stalker. On January 18th, Nick uploaded a video titled, Why I Have a Lawyer Now. However, people were quick to point out this was a pre-recorded video. He later changed the title to, 5,916 calorie cheesy fire noodle challenge completed. Since the drama started, more people have shared their experiences with Nick. Star's Divine Munchies said Nick spread lies about her in a mukbang video a year ago. Nick accused Star of trying to get his channel removed, which is not true. We're gonna get into the Be careful and say, can we collab up here? Oh no, I'll come see you. Me and Nekakato were gonna do a collab a while ago, but I got sick and I told him I couldn't make it and I ended up canceling everything. And I just was like ignoring her, ignoring her, ignoring her. I'm like, I'm not even gonna respond to you when you tried to get my channel removed. Now you're trying to talk to me now, buttering me up because your channel's dying. Saying that I tried to get your channel removed, this is your livelihood, but I would never take that away from you. Star said she tried to warn the public about Nick during the Veronica drama, but no one believed her. Brianna Jackson implied Nick was a bad friend in the past. She didn't disclose what Nick did, and instead said what he did was unforgivable. He did a lot of to me that showed me that I would never ever trust him again. I will never forgive him, and I sure as I will never apologize. Rainey, 
also known as Symbiotic Solutions, said, Nick spread lies about the Woodstock Fruit Festival because he was upset at the vegan community at the time. He makes many videos about how raw food is bad and how raw vegans are insane and how the Woodstock Fruit Festival, the largest fruit festival in the world, is a freaking insane place where they starve their volunteers and they pull coconuts out of the trash and make food out of them and feed them to the people who are paying way too much money. Rainey was going to make a video to defend the festival, but Nick heard of the news and made a 40-minute long video spreading lies about Rainey to ruin his credibility. Some of the things Nick said was that I called this person which I never did. In fact, it was a, just a projection of Nick's. I have evidence that Nick says that this person, is he thinks he's mentally ill. He said that I was uh, shaming this girl, saying that I was anti-breastfeeding. None of that was true. Rainey debunked all of Nick's lies with timestamps in a lengthy Facebook post. 